Our response to Leandro's laboratory video was quite good. So we thought we'd shoot this in higher quality on a DJI Osmo. So uh, here's our tour of Leandro's lab in Altamira at the University du Pará. Hello, welcome to the Breeding Project Laboratory in Altamira, in the University of Federal du Pará. And I will guide you through our facility where we are trying to keep some endangered species alive. So come on. So here is the white room where we have uh, about 300 tanks with fishes from Shingu. So in this session we have some show tanks to where people can see some variety and some biodiversity found in Shingu. We we'll have some rock, uh, well filled uh, fishes. So here you can see Scobinacistus baryonistus and those rocks are the actual rocks found in the same places where we collect the fishes. So they are well uh, acclimated to, to this rock. And you can see the filtration system is quite simple, but that's the purpose of the project. We were able to do low-tech maintenance. And if we succeed, we could replicate it in, uh, in the fishermen uh, facilities. But nowadays the project is more a conservational project, so our goal is to keep some of the endangered species uh, alive and, if possible, breed them. So Scobiancistris aureatus is one of the species that was just banned from export. That's a nature fish. Then we have here some not not. Uh, rare fillet fishes, so we have uh, igarapes and lagoons and pond fishes. Uh, you can see there are some echidons, the terminals, and some crabias. The uh, crabia shinguensi uh, is uh, endemic from Shingo. So in the back, you can see some. Yeah, there's one. Here, this one. Yeah. Oops, sorry. Okay. The juveniles in the next. In other things, we have bigger ones trying to, to spawn. Here you have a Panaki Ambustere uh, tank, so we have five or six big ones, but they are all hidden, so maybe you can see there the eye. Yeah. So we keep all day hidden. The next tank we have L25. It's already so maybe five specimens there too. And they are all feeding well. These are the show tanks, so not not breeding tanks, and the breeding are in the backstage. We we are going there now. Leandro, can you show us some of the rocks? Oh, sure. So here we have some, some rocks that we recently brought from Shingo. So this is a conglomerate of gravels with iron oxide. Okay? So these conglomerates are very unique. So they form large plates that with time they break and they form like platforms and caves, and when the gravels get loose, because it's uh, sedimentary, so sometimes you see here it, it, it loose, and they make those little caves, and those are awesome for L174, so that's where you find those little hyponcystus, but only when are below 15 meters deep. But you can find this in surface too. Some Scobinocystus aureatus, L25, they love to be underneath this. And we use this, these same rocks to, to do the habitat and the ornamentation on the tanks so the fish feel more comfortable. Stingrays here. The 
we just arrived. We are there are some drinks there for day. Here we have a nice tank with some caves that some of the hobbyists uh, gave me. So thanks, Andreas Tank and Frank. Other Frank and other nice people from the group. And so we put those plates in the, the, with the caves underneath. These are caves we remote here in Montanilla. We did the next, these and this, just to see if they accept it. Some success breeding this year? Yet? No, no, 174, not yet. So we have several tanks with the same. That's the zebra tank, so it's more protected, more shadow. So you can see there. Several males and females. We had some spawns here, but uh, for some reason the eggs do not hatch. So I don't know if the male, let's go or just take them out and start again. Here yeah, we just to have around 16 specimens. Half of them are males. We were done with. We didn't get the two to one rate of females. The males are hard to hard, hard to get. And here is really warm, so the fishes like it. But we <laughs> get wet. So another success uh, we had here is uh, L82. So Scopinocystrus. Undescribed species, probably a new genus. And we have some babies here. There's some. some. Can we lift that rock? Yeah. They're pretty healthy. They're really beautiful fish. So here we have three spawns from the same male at least. And they are these tanks growing up. And these are different filter systems as well. Some like one in, in cascade, so we have some lines. Where does the water come in? The water comes from the uh, well, just behind the, the, the building. Can we open the door to show how close we are to the river? Sure.
Okay, here, here are the tanks with some killifishes that we collect in Arapuja Island before it was uh, flooded. Also in some islands that we found upstream. So here we have, we have Pituna, Shinguensis. Also the males are as usual more colorful and the females are gray or more brown. So Pituna Shinguensis and Spectrolabias, Plesiolabias, Altamira. And we had some some eggs that uh, are in diapoles. Uh, we will put them to hatch in around two months from now. We already had success in that. They are kind of easy to, to handle. Perfect. Thank you, Leandro. Okay. Bye bye.